um, in their allowances where younger children were. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I call the Honourable Grant Robertson. Mr. Chair, just to repeat some of the explanations that have been given, particularly on the last points that the member raised, which I explained in an earlier call, there is only a single child rate. It is now the same. Uh, it's the same approach that the previous government took. Also, to repeat the point that um, there is no one that the officials can find at the moment in the situation that Dr. Nick Smith raised. Uh, the government has a commitment to undertake a review of the tax and transfers system um, overall as we go forward, and we'll. Um, be able to identify any other potential things that came from um, arrangements that the previous government might have had in place. So uh, that, uh, that question has indeed already been answered. I can reassure both the member who's just sat down and Louise Upson that children who are adopted are considered to be de dependent children of their principal caregiver and so will qualify uh, for Best Start. Um, just as they qualify for other Working for Families tax credits. And again, to reiterate something that's been said a number of times uh, during this debate, that uh, the orphans benefit, the unsupported child benefit and the foster care allowance, they are both being increased to uh, match the family tax credit changes and those people who are in receipt of those benefits are indeed able to get Best Start, something that has been mentioned in the first reading, second reading and has also been mentioned in these committee stages. Um, I call the Honourable Ruth Dyson. I move that the question be now put. Um, I call David Seymour. Uh, Mr Chair, thank you. I find